I was supposed to shoot a different topic for today, but due to unforeseen circumstances, my model couldn't make it. So I challenged myself to do something difficult instead. I know that a lot of photographers agree with me, but most of the time, we take a lot of photos of other people and we end up not having photos of ourselves. I even have an experience wherein when I ask someone to shoot me, I am always blurred. I kind of want to be vain today and since I don't have a choice and I don't have a model, how about an episode on self-portrait photography? So we're here at the Luca studio today. My gosh, this place is so beautiful. The light that's coming out from the windows is amazing. There's like ample natural light. And look at the different setups. This is like a safe haven for a lot of photographers like me. Today, I am going to try and take photos of myself using my camera's remote photography shooting feature. The good news is, you guys can do it too. Most camera brands have an app, and if your phone is, of course, modern enough, I'm sure it is, you can easily connect it to your camera and you can use your phone to take photos of yourself. So here are my essentials. Well, since I'm a professional photographer, of course, I would take advantage of my professional camera. I want my self-portraits to look very professional. Sakto, I need to update my profile photo. So since I'm using the Nikon Z7, I downloaded the Nikon app, which is called Snapbridge, to turn on the remote photography feature. If you're using other brands, I'm sure they have this feature too. So go ahead and play with it. So let's pair our camera to our phone. The first thing we need to do is go to the menu and go straight to the setup menu and you will see an option that says connect to smart device. So we press that option and we will establish the Wi-Fi connection. So there you go. So once we've established the Wi-Fi connection, we launch our Snapbridge app in our phone. You will see a connect to camera option. Just click that and select whatever Nikon camera you're using. So since I'm using the Z7, I will click this and you will see that we need to select a Wi-Fi connection and we need to look for the Wi-Fi of our camera. Just press the Z7 Wi-Fi connection. And I think we're good to go. I think we're connected already. So just press the remote photography link. And there you have it. So you can see you can adjust the autofocus settings just using your phone and other camera settings like the manual automatic shutter speed priority and the like. And there are other camera settings down there. You can change the aperture, the shutter speed, the ISO, and even the white balance. When you press the settings, you can choose what kind of download size you want for your images. But make sure you have a card inside your camera so that it will still save the original format. So the image that will be downloaded in your phones will just be secondary. So I will turn on the self-timer because this will help me have enough time to pose and hide my camera once I press the trigger. So I will set it to 5 seconds. Alright, that's it. Okay, we're good to go guys. So for this shoot, I set my aperture between 1.8 to 2.0 since I want to maintain a shallow depth of field. I want the focus to still be on me, so I want my background to be a little bit blurred. 
For my first try, I wanted to take a wide shot and just to see how I would look like. Well, of course, I was still fresh and, you know, everything still felt easy. But again, may proof ako na meron akong hawak na phone camera to press the trigger. I so love this space. I mean, who wouldn't? The light coming from the windows is just divine. <laughs> Sobrang baby itong ginagawa ko. Okay na yun. Safe na yun. Tapos, kasi I'm teaching, mag, mag YouTube channel ako. Nice to see you guys. Thank you so much. Guys, Teddy Manuel and Bea. Thank you for dropping by. Hey, hello, hello. Thank you so much. Huh? Um, so far, ang ganda naman ng lahat. Parang, sabi ko, oh my gosh. Hindi ko na kailangan lahat ng dinala ko. Parang nandito na lahat. Sobrang ganda, guys. So, moving on to a tighter shot. This time, I got an apple box so I can rest my hands and play with more poses. When you are taking portraits of yourself or portraits of other people, what you can do is to include elements to level your subjects. So use an apple box, a table, or a couch to make that happen. Fairness, saya, masaya siya. So for this shoot, the only equipment that I use aside from my camera is a reflector. So I use it to bounce some light coming from the windows to the other side of my face. I wanted to make it a little more fun, so I tried including my doggos in the shot. Please, oh, you're a good girl. Thank you. You're a good girl. <laughs> so I was with Cello and Shazam, but then they were fighting that day. Hindi pa kasi sila ganon ka magkasundo since Shazam is still a baby and Cello is the ate. So it was such a challenge for me to put them in one shot. And good thing Ateria was there to help me out with appeasing both of them. So yun guys, when shooting self-portraits, try to include something that will better show off who you are as a person. So let's say for example, me, I'm a dog lover. So it's perfect that I included my dogs to my profile photo. And since we're already here and I just found out that Cello is pregnant, I took some portraits of my dog owner Ren. And look, she is so cute. Matching pa kami ng scarf. <laughs> so moving on to the last layout. This is a more serious look naman, okay? I am such a big fan of black and white portrait photos. As you can see in my social media accounts, black and white lahat ng portraits ko. And I like it because it's a classic and it really draws your attention to the subject and to their emotions. So I looked for a spot here in Luca Studio that's perfect for the black and white layout. And I found this area that has a black window frame and black and white tiles. So since I wanted to pop out I used a background that is dark since I'm wearing white. Always bear in mind that in black and white photography, contrast is very important. So if your background is dark, you don't want to photograph yourself or someone wearing something that will appear dark and have him or her blend into the background. So the same concept goes. So when your background is light, naman, then wear something that's darker. So for that added windblown effect, I borrowed a fan to make my hair fly. So since I'm not moving in the photo that much, I still wanted to create some sort of movement. And the secret to that lang is to use a fan. So guys, the next time you need a professional looking portrait photo and you don't have someone to help you out, I hope this episode gives you an idea on how to take better professional self-portraits. 
Okay, so there you have it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode and I hope you learned how to do remote photography using your mobile phones and your cameras. So this is me, Jaja Samaniego. Don't forget to just trust the process.